Hello everyone, this is Jacob Goldstein. This is Christian Wise. And welcome to our game, The Exam. The basic premise of our game is that you are running late for a CS exam. And you know that it's somewhere in Donnell, but you're not sure exactly which room it's in. So you have to go around the map, talking to students to see if they might know where the right room is in order to win the game. And we'll go into a bit of the rules right now. So, part of our game and its mechanics is that there's multiple ways for the game to end, which is part of our creative mechanic that there's multiple ways to lose and a way to win. So, first way to lose is another creative mechanic, which is health. If you go into too many full rooms, you reach too much embarrassment and you die of cringe. You don't want to die of cringe. Another way you can lose, which is another creative mechanic, is having a timer. And if you take too long to find the exam, you also lose. So you have two minutes and you gotta get there before Berkeley time. And of course you win if you find the classroom. There's different types of classrooms. Empty classrooms, nothing happens because no one sees you. If you go into a full classroom, you become embarrassed and you get closer to dying of cringe. And the exam classroom, you win if you walk into it. And so there are several different NPCs, which are the students. I'll give a little background before explaining them while we're in game. But the basic premise of them is that they give you a direction and a proximity to what they think the correct classroom is at varying degrees of accuracy for each NPC. So let's go into a game to show you how it works. Okay, here we have the intro. Okay, so the little green frogs you see on the screen are the NPCs. So I'll start by going to talk to one of them to try and get a clue of where the exam room might be. So let's talk to this one. Okay, this is a senior. Now, seniors are more likely to give you the correct direction, not as likely to give you the correct proximity. So this senior is telling me that it's probably southwest, so I'll trust that more than them saying that it's close. And I'll talk to another student to try and get some more information. Huh? Okay, this is a freshman. It's the opposite for freshmen. They're more likely to give you the correct proximity as opposed to the correct direction. And they're saying that they think it might be pretty close to where they are. And they're telling me that it's southwest. I don't care about that as much. And I'll talk to another one to try and get some more information. Okay, another senior. Let's see what they say about direction. They're saying it's southwest. Okay, so I've had two seniors tell me it's southwest, so I'm guessing it's probably somewhere over here. Let me go talk to another student. It doesn't help, doesn't hurt to get some more information. All right, uh-oh, a Stanford student. Now, Stanford students will either directly mislead you and give you the wrong direction on purpose, or they'll straight up insult you, or maybe you'll find the rare Stanford student that actually tries to give you the correct directions. This one tells me that if they think it's close and to the east, I'm probably not gonna trust them though. And these blue things on our map are the different doors. So let's go into some doors so you can see what happens. So this room is full and everyone's staring at you and you get embarrassed and you run away. Your embarrassment increases and once you reach 100 you lose, so you gotta be careful. This is an empty room, so nothing happens. And of course we're looking for the exam room. But say you're running late for an exam in real life and you wanna save and quit. The nice thing about our game is that when you reload it, not only do you keep the same current timer, but also you keep the same place in your music. So you always get that dramatic effect no matter where you save and at what time you're playing. So I have 10 more seconds left until I'm gonna time out. Can I find the exam room? Oh no, I have four more seconds. Huh? No, I missed the exam and now I fail my class. But fortunately, you can go back to the main menu and you can retry and see if you can find that exam room. Okay, so that was one of two bad endings. I'll show you the other one right now. So let's do the same seed. And let's say you're just trying to speed run. So you're not gonna talk to any students. You're just gonna try to find the correct exam door by accident. So let's go to this one. Oh, it's a full room. My embarrassment goes up. Maybe this one? Full one again. Surely it can't be three in a row, right? Another full one? All right, maybe this one. Surely. Okay, now my embarrassment is at 100. So now if I play, press spacebar, I will die of cringe. The second of our two bad endings. Now let me show you how a true gamer plays this game and how you can get that epic Vic Royale. So let me talk to this student over here. They are a senior, so I'm gonna trust them that says the Southwest. The freshman says it's close, so I'm also gonna trust them. The senior also says Southwest, so it's very likely that's gonna be over here. The senior also says Southwest. And this senior says it's West. So if they're telling the truth, it is this door right here because it's on the same parallel as them. So let's go see if they were right. Let's
Let's go! You made it to the exam. Time to get that Google job. But yeah, that is pretty much our game. Thank you so much for like or for watching. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.